Hello stamping friends, welcome back to another card in the November 2014 online card class. We're going to be using three trees, a sentiment that you have, some background stamps, and then the items that come in your kit. You were asked to purchase the Festival of Trees with the matching tree punch. And um, I um, had just gotten the Good Greetings Hostess set and I figured out that most of these words would fit in the word window punch. You pick out whatever small stamp that you have that you want to use and it will work just fine. When you're in the online card class, you know that you get a PDF with um, instructions for each of the cards. It'll have the dimensions, the measurements and everything. And then that way you can um, make more cards because you already have the stamp set and the stamp pads. Uh, the other item that you get in the card kit this month is three half sheets of um, one of each, very vanilla, oh sorry, Whisper White, very vanilla, and the crumb cake. So you'll be using those to finish up your cards. You get an envelope, you get the card base, which is Mossy Meadow, which is an in color. Then you're going to get Pear Pizzazz, Little Rectangle, and then Crumb Cake. Um, I have already punched out the uh, decorative label punch in Early Espresso. And let me just get my stuff organized here. I have the catalog out because I wanted to talk to you about this silicone sheet. I'm going to be using that on this project. So I wanted to point out to you, because sometimes when you're looking through our amazing catalog, you miss certain things. And on page 204, there is a silicone craft sheet down at the bottom. I tell you, it keeps my area so much cleaner. I highly recommend that you get one of these little silicone sheets. You know, you're putting on adhesive and you get sticky all over your work surface and you have to keep moving around so that you don't stick in it. Hmm, you don't have to anymore. Okay, so let's put this card together. I'm going to use the uh, Very Vanilla piece. Oh, that's what I had that out for. I was like, why did I have that scrap piece of paper? I'm just going to use some scraps that I have from other videos. And I want to get my tree out. And we're going to use the one that looks more like a little evergreen tree. Okay. When you are using these clear stamps, after you're done, clean them, put them back on their sheets. Hmm. I don't, you can't see what the rest of my desk looks like, but it would be very easy to lose this little little clear stamp in the middle of my mess. Okay, I'm going to use uh, Mossy Meadow ink. And if you have been in my online classes, you got this um, ink pad at the very beginning of our series. Okay, we're gonna stamp three trees. I have a perfect size piece of scrap paper for this. Okay, so there's our third one. And we're going to punch them out now. Punch this like that. It's hard to line them up when your head is not right over the stamp, but I don't want to stick my head in the camera, so I'm sparing you that part. Although I did do my hair today. <laughs> okay, so we have our three trees all done. And um, for this one, we're actually going to use our hardwood background stamp. And I'm going to use crumb cake. We're going to ink up. Move this out of the way. And for this one, the wood grain goes this way. You're going to line up your piece of paper this way, so short way, so that your wood looks like this. And my instructions come in very handy in my small work area with my video camera. Um, I'm just going to press that on there and then you'll see that I got some extra ink. And then lift that off and there you have it. When you ink up upside down, you get a much better um, image than if you tried to pick up that big bulky stamp and try to line it up on your small piece of paper. 
All right, get my snail and I'm going to attach my crumb cake layer to my pear pizzazz. Now, I have a confession to make. The ribbon that you will be getting in your card kit is um, early espresso, but mine didn't come in yet in time for the video. And what do they say? The show must go on. So I changed it up a little bit and I'm actually using the cherry cobbler, which turned out really nice. But um, just know in your card kit, the piece of ribbon that you're gonna get will be the early espresso. I'm gonna wrap this around and tie this on the side. Okay. All right, trim that off. Okay. So now I'm ready to do. Um, the other item that you're going to get is the um, linen thread. And let me grab some more of that, I put that away. Okay, so you're gonna get some linen thread. You're going to stamp your image, and I have my scrap paper here. I'm going to stamp my sentiment, which this one says, I love you. And I'm going to use the early espresso. No, that is green. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna go with the green because I inked it up. My, this card will just look different. Actually, this doesn't say, I love you. It says, I love us. Isn't that sweet? Take my word window punch. And I don't know if you can see on the video, but I actually punched, I, I kind of went over a little bit, so I have a little bit more excess over here. And then I have my Okay, so here is where that silicone mat comes in. I don't want adhesive on my paper piercing mat. So, here you go. See this skinny little piece of paper? You put your snail on there, and it doesn't get on the thing. I love it. All right, stick this on here. Whoops, it's off just a little bit. Okay. So since we're already, okay, move the silicone mat. Don't pierce through that. But we already have our, I've got some adhesive there. We have our paper piercing mat right there. So I'm gonna use the paper piercer. And I'm gonna just poke a hole through both layers. And then if you've watched any of my videos before, I have these dental floss thingies that you get at the, um, you know, where they sell toothpaste and stuff, but it's for people with braces. So it looks like one of those things for sewing, but I don't sew, so this works much better for me. And I'm going to just feed that through like the eye of a needle. I'm going to take some linen thread and sew this through, okay. Now, I, um, if I had somebody to help me, I could have woven my um, linen thread through that knot, but it's really hard when you're doing the videos or, you know, and all that. So I'm just going to tie it on there. You may, um, you may have better luck with doing it than I did, but um, it was just really hard for me to do practicing in front of the video camera. So, um, and I, I make enough mistakes, I didn't wanna look silly in front of you by trying to do that. All right, so let's trim this off. Just gonna trim it really close. And I think when your, um, when your other correct ribbon comes in, the early espresso, you won't even be able to see that as much. So there you go. Okay, so we have that on there. Now let's stick our trees on. Get our three trees out. And we're gonna use some dimensionals for this card. Pop these on, 
going to line one up right there. Take the other one and put it up a little bit. And our third tree is going to kind of come down a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to attach this to our card base. I like to put snail on my ribbon. I have had cards where the ribbon lifts up or the card lifts up right there at that ribbon. So I like to put some snail there. Add this to our base. Okay, so there's that. The only thing that we're missing is we want a little cherry cobbler bird coming in. So this bird is in your stamp set. I'm going to ink up my little bird. And there's not a punch, so guess what we have to use? Scissors. Now I decided that I didn't want the bird to be on a dimensional. So I'm going to use a glue dot. I felt like we had enough height going on with our card. I'm going to take my snips that I just had to cut out my bird. Stick that on there. So now that helps pick up that little fella. And I'm going to stick it right there. There you go. Now, I know what you're saying. You noticed that my tree didn't punch right. I was going to point that out to you as I was punching out the trees. And since I didn't do it then, I'm going to point it out now. When you go to squeeze the tree uh, punch or any of our punches, it does move a little bit. So it kind of jumps. So be careful with that. So I think the way I'm going to fix this is I'm just going to stamp another tree and put it on. Or I could simply take this one off. So watch that little bit right there. Like I said, I'm the queen of making boo-boos, so if I'm going to make a boo-boo, I'm going to share it with you so that you don't make the same mistake. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope you enjoyed this card.